Johnny Depp is now set to make a comeback following his win from his defamation suit against Amber Heard. Meanwhile, rumor has it that the actress is no longer appearing in Aquaman 2. On top of that, she owes the Pirates of the Caribbean star $10 million in damages, and she could be facing additional perjury charges. Here's what Heard's loss in the trial really means for her. When asked if Heard can pay the $10.35 settlement to Depp, her lawyer Elaine Breedhoff told the Today Show, Oh, no, absolutely not. The judge initially ordered her to pay $15 million in damages but later reduced it. Still, the Rum Diary star only has a net worth of $8 million, and it's mostly from the settlement she received from her divorce from the Edward Scissorhands actor. Lucky for her, legal analyst Emily D. Baker told People that both parties are yet to negotiate the terms of the settlement, so Heard might not have to pay it at all. It will be up to the parties, but once the judgment is entered on June 24, I wonder if the attorneys will start negotiating that judgment payment, explained Baker. Ben Chu said in his closing argument that Johnny Depp wasn't seeking to punish Amber Heard with money. Chu said on Friday to the jury, the case has never been about money or about punishing Heard. I imagine that they will try to settle it and you'll see a PR statement that they are not seeking to enforce the judgment. She also noted that getting the judgment is one thing. Getting the money is a whole separate thing. Should Depp decide to pursue the settlement, it'll be a separate process. His team can then try to attach her any wages or any residuals coming in and start going after it through the court, but that is a separate process that starts once the judgment is entered and it can be a very lengthy court process to enforce a judgment. However, Baker thinks it would be a bad PR move. From a PR standpoint, it would not be ideal to see Johnny Depp trying to aggressively enforce this judgment, she said. We'll see what they do. I don't think we'll see them aggressively pursuing this judgment right away. And I don't think they necessarily should at this point. In May 2022, George Freeman of the Media Law Resource Center told Fox News that Heard wouldn't go to jail after she was found liable of defaming Depp. You don't go to jail as a result of a civil finding, the lawyer said. The only way what happened so far in Virginia could lead to jail is if she's accused and convicted of perjury, which there has been no official accusation of and which seems quite remote. Civil and criminal attorney Tim Parlator also told the show that Heard isn't likely to be charged with perjury. According to Parlator, the actress could only be charged with perjury if it could be proven beyond reasonable doubt that she intentionally said something that wasn't true and knew that it wasn't true. Civil attorney Broderick Dunn also told Fox why perjury charges aren't really pursued in abuse cases. There are a lot of perjury cases that could be brought that aren't to prevent a chilling effect on people with domestic violence claims. He shared.